Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our Daily Angelic Healing Message. If you'd like to work with me, angelsouls444.com, that's a standard reading that you can get. Turnaround time on that has not been terrible, it just depends on how many people are ahead of you in line. If you'd like a live session, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Okay, I'm getting face tingles. That happens when I read. <laughs> and I know it's not great. I'm like sitting there like itching my nose. All right. Family. All right. So there is something where you are reevaluating. You're starting to understand your family and even your family tree a little bit better. This could be ancestral healing. This could be generational traumas that finally you're coming to understand. And through your understanding, you can put an end to it. You can start to let that heal. This is giving not excuses, okay, or giving someone a pass for their bad behavior, but this could be understanding, again, it feels like it's very generational. It just keeps looping around where there is like a pattern of abuse, right? Um, and maybe you realize, okay, this can stop with me. I might be the one that still has to, you don't have to take it, but make sure you're doing everything, be very discerning and be careful with everything, but um you can say, well, I'll make sure that I don't treat anybody like this. I know I'm not, <laughs> Lord knows I'm not perfect, but I go through my life trying to approach life with an open heart and an open mind as much as I can. When I come up on a cluster B personality disordered person, and I don't have a degree in that or anything, I have degrees in other things, but not that, <laughs> but um, I've just been through it so much. I have so many experiences with that, that when I come across that kind of person, that is where you'll see me kind of, whew, you know, close the gates, <laughs> lock them up um, because we're not, we're not going there. But I don't want to spread that trauma to anybody else. You know, I've always talked about being single. I've had a lot of reasons to be single, but one of the biggest ones was that I didn't want to pull somebody else into my unhealed state and the things that I've experienced are deep and not easily handled but I've done well I've done well I'm sitting here I'm alive I'm I wouldn't say I'm thriving at the moment I'm, I'm going through kind of um, a rough time with like not not unhealthy well uh -huh. I've been trying to do like better eating and stuff like that and realizing where my food triggers are and things like that and the emotional triggers around all that. That's not a fun process to go through. But uh, like I said, I knew that I wanted to make sure I was healed before I tried to go into a partnership. And the same thing with that partner. I don't want to take on somebody who wants me to heal them. You know what I mean? So, you know, that in context of family... This is you realizing where some of that stuff comes from. It's you realizing maybe what direction you need to go in to heal that. Okay? We're going to leave it there. Make sure you watch the weekly. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.